Hey, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 12, ratios of fractions in their unit rates. So during this lesson, you're remodeling a room at your house and need to figure out if you have enough money. You'll work individually with a partner to make a plan that needs to be solved a plan of what is needed to solve this problem. After your plan is complete, then you'll solve the problem determine if you had enough money. So here's example one, time to remodel. You have decided to remodel your bathroom and install a tile floor. Okay, so we're going to install a tile floor. The bathroom is in the shape of a rectangle. And the floor measures 14 feet, 8 inches long by 5 feet, 6 inches wide. The cost five dollars each per tile. I just want to use for five dollars each and the tile covers four and two thirds square feet. That's one tile. And you have one hundred dollars to spend. Question is, do you have enough money to complete the project? Question mark. So we need to make a plan. So what is it we know? That's the first thing. Okay. We know the dimension. of the floor. We know one tiles square foot. Okay, we know that. We know the square square foot of one tile. I say it that way instead. Okay. We know, uh, let's just do this again. We know the square foot, we can also write it like this, of one tile. And we know the cost of one. All right, I'm still not used to this pen, so bear with me. We know the cost of one tile. Okay. So that's what we know. Then we want to, what do we want to find? Well, we need the area. If we know the size of one tile, number of tiles would be a good idea to know. Number of tiles. And we need to know total cost. And make sure it's under $100 or we won't be able to do this project entirely. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So how are we going to do this? Well, we want to convert... Inches to feet as a fraction with the denominator twelve. Okay, and we know that area equals length times width. We want to take that total area and divide it by the area of one tile. Okay, so we take the total area and divide it by the area of one tile. That's going to tell us the number of tiles. Okay, and then here, number of tiles times five dollars and determine whether or not a hundred dollars is enough to do this job okay so there's the outline of this problem those are the things we needed so let's move on now it says compare your plan with the partner okay that we did that in class so i'm going to continue here so
I'm going to expand this page. And I'll do my work down here. Okay. So we were given the floor is 14 feet 8 inches. Okay. By 5 feet 6 inches. I'm going to convert that to feet. Oh, 8 out of 16 is a half. So that is 14 and 1 half feet. Oh, I'm sorry. 8. I'm thinking ounces here. Uh, there are 12 inches in a foot. So it's 14. 8 out of 12 is 3 quarters. Okay. Time to quit making videos, I think. It's two thirds. Try that again. Eight over 12 is two over three. So it's 14 and two thirds. Six inches is half of a foot. So it's five and one half feet. Okay, so next thing we need to do is the area, which equals length times width. So the area equals the length. 14 and 2 thirds times the width 5 and 1 half. Okay? Alright, so as you see, I've got my calculator at the ready next here. So I'm going to come over to the calculator and we are going to take 14 and 2 thirds. Okay, 14 and 2 thirds times 5 and a half. I'm going to put that in as 5.5. And I get 80 and 2 thirds. Okay, so come over here. 80 and 2 thirds. Feet squared because it's area. Okay, so the area of the bathroom is 80 and 2 thirds square feet. The next thing we needed to do, if we go back up to our thing here, is we converted inches to feet. Area equals length times width. And now we're going to take the area and divide by the area of one tile. So now we have to go back down here. And now we have to take this area, 80 and 2 thirds, and divide it by the area of one tile, which is 4 and 2 thirds square feet. That was a given. So that's going to equal... So 80 and 2 thirds is 80.66 repeating. And 4 and 2 thirds is 4.666 repeating. And we're going to divide those. Divided by four and six repeating. Okay, let me do that a different way. Let me convert this. Eight times three is 242 thirds. Divided by four times three is 12 and two is 14 over three, which equals 242 over 3 times 3 over 14. The threes cancel. So it's 242 divided by 14. So if I go 242 divided by 14, okay, I did get the same answer. 121 over 7 is what it reduces to. Okay, 121 over 7. Well, 7 goes into 12 once, the remainder of 5. 7 times 7 is 49, the remainder of 2. And 7 goes into 20 two times with the remainder of 6. And 7 goes into 60 
eight times, and that's where this 7.2857 is coming from up here. Okay, so I'm just showing them that's 121 divided by 7, 17.28. Okay, so we can't buy portions of a tile, so I round this up. I'm going to need 18 tiles. There's the magic number 18 tiles. All right. So we need 18 tiles to finish the bathroom. So now we have to take the number of tiles times $5 each to see how much it's going to cost us to buy these 18 tiles. So let me do that in green. So we're going to take our 18 tiles. And tiles cost $5 each. So 5 times 1 is 4. 5 times, five times 1 is 4 plus 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Can't think straight when the, alarm, the timer is going off or the class change. All right, so it's 90. $90. I still have $10 left over. Maybe I'll buy some grout. They don't talk about that. So did we have enough money to tile this floor? And the answer is yes. Okay, so here's the next example. And it says, which car can travel farther on one gallon of gas? All right, so it says the blue car travels 18 and two-fifths miles using 0.8 gallons of gas. So the first thing I want to do is change that 0.8 into 8 tenths, which reduces to four-fifths. Okay, so 0.8 is four-fifths, and I want to make this fraction improper. So 18 times 5 is 90, plus 2 is 90 two-fifths. So the blue car is going 90 two-fifths miles using four-fifths of a gallon. So what we're going to do is we're going to take distance divided by gallons, and that is going to equal 92 fifths times the reciprocal 5 over 4. The 5s cancel. 92, half of 92 is 49, and the 4 will become a 2, so it's 49 halves, which is 24 and 1 half. Okay, so made a mistake here. So 49 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 will go into 9 four times. Okay, what's going on? Oh, there it is. All right, so half of 92 is not 49. Half of 92 is 46. Okay, so this should be a 6. Okay, so 46 divided by 2 is 23. So that is 23 miles per gallon. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing for the red car. So if the red car is traveling 17 and 2 fifths, 17 times 5 is 85 plus 2 over 5, which equals 87 over 5, divided by 0.75, which is 3 quarters. Well, 87.5 divided by 3 quarters is the same as 87.5 times 4 thirds. 3 will go into 87. 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 27, 9, 29. So my answer is going to be 29 times 4, which is 116 fifths, which equals 23 and 1 fifth miles per gallon. So now we go back up and answer the question. Which car travels the furthest on one gallon of gas? Well, 23 miles per gallon, 23 and a fifth, the red car travels further. Okay, second. Okay, so that was the last question in the chapter section. That was lesson 12. Now go do your problem. problem.